Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can get rid of the application Mac Defender. Now, if you don't know what this is, it's malware. And it's one of the big new pieces of malware that's come out for Mac OS X. So people are making a big deal about it. Honestly, it's not a huge deal and it's extremely easy to remove if it happens to you and you end up getting this piece of malware. So if you do get this virus, you'll know it because you'll see this window pop up on your screen that says, you know, control center up at the top and and pretty much it tells you to scan your system for viruses and it's called Mac Defender and you'll see this pop up and it'll be a really annoying and what it really wants you to do is register the program by putting in your credit card number and from there you have the possibility of getting scammed. So to remove this virus first of all you're going to have to kill the application. So I'm going to open up a new finder window and I'm going to go into my applications folder and from there I'm going to go into my utilities folder and activity monitor. So here in activity monitor here's all your processes. You're going to look for the Mac Defender process and it'll be listed right here under process name and you know you'll see the process. Now it could be called one of three things either Mac Defender, Mac Security or Mac Protector. Uh, either of those it could show up as. So you have to select the process um, uh, for this example, since I don't really have the virus, we'll just choose mail. And there's a big red stop sign here that says quit process. So I'm going to click quit process. And you're going to get this warning that you know asks you, do you really want to quit it? Well, yes, you do. So you can hit quit, and the application should just close. So once you've killed the process, now you're going to have to pop open another finder window and find the Mac Defender application and it's in your applications folder. The icon will look just like this so you know what it'll look like and once again it could be called Mac Defender, Mac Security, or Mac Protector. So you find one of those and you're going to, you know, I don't have it in here, but drag it to the trash can and empty the trash. So after you've done that there's only one more step. If you launch System Preferences from your Apple logo menu and pop it open Go into the Accounts tab under System and click on the Login Items tab. You're going to see the application listed on this list. And, you know, once again, Mac Defender, Mac Security, or Mac Protector could be called. You're going to select it and then click the Minus button right here. And that'll delete the selected application so that it won't start at login. And once you do that, the virus is gone. That's it. It's completely gone from your system and you don't have to worry about it anymore. Now, to prevent you from getting this virus again, there's two simple things you can do. First of all, you can open up Safari and then go in under the Safari menu, click Preferences, and go under the General tab. Now, under here, you're going to see a little checkbox right here and it says Open Safe Files After Downloading, and that's Movies, Pictures, Sounds, yeah, things like that. It'll open those and other archives, meaning zip folders, all kinds of things like that. And normally after you download those, they automatically open. Now, by default, this will be checked. And all you have to do is uncheck it. And now these types of things won't open. So if you had this virus, it's most likely because this box was checked and it automatically opened the virus installer and then it was installed that way. Personally, I leave this unchecked anyways just because I find it annoying to have stuff opening right away after I download it. But just in case you would ever get to the point again where the virus would, you know, start the installer, here's uh, what the installer looks like. You can see install Mac Defender setup. That, that's what it looks like. You don't want to install this, and you don't really want to install any application on your Mac if you're not positively sure what it is. So if you don't have this yet, and you ever see this come up on your computer, do not install it. And make sure you don't ever enter any credit card information to this virus. And if you do, you'll probably want to get rid of that credit card as soon as possible to avoid getting scammed. So that's about all. If you have Mac Defender and you follow these steps, it should be gone and you should be all set and ready to work just like you were before. So that's about all, guys. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.